you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for, uh, for understanding. She's your family, your real family. I know how much she means to you. you you have known me for a while now not your mom right definitely not you you came for me after all these oh what are these they're very shiny hey over here oh, Peter Quill really here it's been centuries no millennia the name's star lord baby oh i see star lord baby <laughs> <laughs> no no it's just it's star lord legendary outlaw why does this never work for a moment. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. <sighs> Very well, then. <sighs> wow. Didn't see that coming. <sighs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. 
I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no, that is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. Though... You are offended. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh my! You and your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. Who should we try on first? I got just the one. What is this? Why are her head tentacles glowing? The big green tattoo man is filled with sadness. What? No. He lacks direction. I do not lack direction. Only once have I required a map. Now he is ashamed for his outburst. Mantis is an empath, Drax. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion! She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Oh, I can explain. <sighs> Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm going to roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Star-Lord baby. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Cree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated Locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, 
Thanks a lot for that, Pete. Oh, your boy, 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 boy. Now, the most important part. <sighs> there is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the Celestial One. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back, but when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. Ah. Well, that explains Hollis' delightful corpse collection. She'll bring them all back if she gets the forge. Fantastic! So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean... Maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. Wow. Uh... Okay, this is, uh... <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kinda heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's... Let me think on it. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. You have extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> Really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please, stop talking. Okay. Yep, yeah, not talking. <sighs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them.
Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You had no right to have the Antenna Woman do that to me. You did not even ask my permission. I just wanted to know what was going on. And here. In my chest. In your heart. It is pumping blood. Blood and feelings, buddy. Blood and feelings. She told me I was afraid. I do not like to feel afraid. Such feelings bring me great shame. But, talking to you, a frequently scared person has helped. Yeah. Anytime, Drax. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I can count on one paw. How many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love? I am Groot. I see your point. I do. And who knows, maybe you're right. Like, I'll think about it. Good. Think about it long and hard, Pete. We got this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We shouldn't pass it up. Hey, P. You know, you know what you... You know what you... Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. I am brute. Fine. Fine! Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? Uh, I tried to say everything I could think of. I, I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just... maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really, how's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Like I said then, it was just a trust exercise. You passed. 
Pretty sure Gamora still needs convincing. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space? That I deserve everything I've been through? Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh yeah? What did you see? I saw you stab her and leave her to die. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> 